This is my balance trainer using a snowboard setup with video feedback. It's using a plug and play snowboard video game I obtained through RadicaGames.com, still available after being purchased by Mattel Toy Company as far as I can determine. It's not being sold or marketed by me or anyone else in the form presented here. The purpose of this setup was to get a feel for and demonstrate how my trainer could work with video feedback and sports simulation. The plug and play device had four basic pressure controls, right, left, and front back for turning and speed control. As originally designed, a simple heel toe rocking motion turned a figure on the screen and front back tilt either sped or slowed the motion. The plug and play controller was sandwiched between two snow skateboards and allows control as designed by Radica. Snowboarding involves much more complex movement and balance, however, some of which will be demonstrated here while also controlling the figure on screen. While not perfect, this design allows much more freedom of movement and ability to simulate real snowboarding. This setup is much heavier than my basic snowboard trainer with a single board and makes it more difficult and cumbersome to reproduce realistic movement, but does work with some greater effort. The goal is to pair the device with a more sophisticated controller or even virtual reality interface to provide a more responsive and realistic visual feedback and or improve graphics. Since the emergence of virtual reality technology, its use has been limited due to many factors and practical application problems. An early problem was motion sickness, which I feel was due to conflicting messages from what we see through the headset and what the body does at the same time. If the visual feedback could be coordinated with activity performed, I feel motion sickness may not be a problem. And if a new platform were available, many more applications for the existing technology could be developed. My long-term goal is to help develop applications that would make video gaming more active and games more realistic for gamers and give athletes a safe, inexpensive training tool in the off-season or even an effective teaching tool for beginners of respective sports.